Okay, team. Moving in for our next mission. We have a really good team here for this. This is probably my strongest team yet. Operation Iron Giant. We are going to be a vulnerability in the Advent network and try to pull some of their data from a terminal in this area. Unfortunately, the aliens were quick to eliminate the operative. But as far as we can tell, the data is critical to the aliens' latest operation. We're moving in to recover what we can. Eliminate all enemy contacts and secure the area. Access the network before they have time to lock down the Alright, thank you, Bradford. So he just explained it. One of our resistance hackers got some important data on Advent operations, and we're coming in to recover that data since they shut him down. Look at this team. Steven Schaffner, Brian Jackie, Brian Harris, Anna Turner, and Braden McCampbell. All looking ready for action. Uh... Brian Jackie and Steven Schaffner are both coming off injuries and they are looking for some payback. So we got to get to that terminal. Menace 1 5, this is Avenger. The access point where Avenger is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. Just need to move through this neighborhood and get what's ours. Moving up. Steven on point. Hostiles making the rounds. Stun Lancer and a Sectoid. Of the two, the one I most want dead first is that Stun Lancer. Those guys suck. And they're right between me and the objective. I only have eight turns to get there. I do not have time to try to go around these guys. This is just going to be go straight to setting up an ambush and get these guys taken out. Not a bad position at all right there. So Brian Jackie's gonna move up. Anna Turner with her new her new sharpshooter's rifle. Okay, go get this little corner here. Should give me good angles on the two of them. Brad McCampbell, first mission. He is carrying Great Axe, which is Tom Turner's old gun. He's got a scope on it. Anna Turner used that to good effect on the last mission. Running out. And none such. He's going to double up the sniper coverage right there. Just walking right into it. It's a beautiful setup for an ambush right there. Gonna spend just a little bit of time figuring out how I want to pop the ambush here. Do I want to start it with the snipers? Do I want to start it with the shotgun? How many people do I want to live, leave out to pick off stragglers just in case they miss during the initial ambush? Eyes on the prize. Now, it's obvious, I, I think ultimately I end up starting with one of the snipers. Uh, it seems like the most logical starting place. Leave, do have one do the shot and one react. And I think I'm going to leave Brian Jackie on cleanup duty here. Okay, have, uh, have Steven and... Um, Brad Campbell now. cover the uh, cover the Overwatch fire. Hope they can take these guys out as they scatter. So opening shot from uh, Brian Harris. Overwatch from uh, Brad and Steven and Anna with Brian. <laughs> Thought for a second about maybe going ahead and using lightning hands here, but no. We're in I didn't fight. want them to already be in cover by the time he took his sniper rifle. 97% chance. Not great damage over there. Wish I could have taken him out with just it one shot. Not good. So we expose ourselves. Well, <laughs> we break, we break concealment. And here they come. Here comes the sectoid just. 
Ah, I hate this guy. And no. Dodged three shots. That blows. By the way, I am recording this after the fact. I played this late last night while everybody was in bed, so I um, already know what's going to happen here. Sorry, this one isn't as dynamic as some of the other recordings. Um, I, of course, could have gone for the slash here. But I didn't want to end up next to that propane tank. Just in case that sectoid got froggy with its blaster. Uh, I really did not want to be standing next to a propane tank. So, 100% chance. Crunch. Rolling. Promotion earned. Hooray! He's retreating back to find another pod. Now, I wasn't sure, having not really seen that animation before, I didn't know if that meant that he had just stopped there or whether he had found another pod. Uh, we will find out shortly what it means. Because what they do when they retreat like that, they go back and they find more guys to bring them to come kill you. And so... I am not certain at this point whether he has found more guys or whether he, that's just as far as he felt like retreating. He's got, he's in a pretty good spot though. He's tricky to hit. I don't have a lot of good angles on him. I was hoping that maybe if I move up to these windows here, uh, the snipers might be able to get some shots at him with their pistols. But it turns out that nope, no, no good line through two windows into the swimming pool. Understood. Moving out. I love just the little character of this guy's garage. That it's clearly not a garage he uses to park his car in or anything. He's like working on home improvement. I think he's turning it into another room or something. It's, it's got a project going on in there. And here comes XCOM just busting through his house. Move, move, move! Alright, Brandon the Campbell hoping to get a good position on the sectoid. 52%. Uh, not very good odds. I mean, I could have took the shot, but I don't think I'm going to kill him this turn, so I would rather just overwatch and hope he runs out into a more exposed position. Thought about coming all the way up there, but again, I don't know if there's a pod there or not. I'd rather not have Steven just be a giant target for them if there is. And instead he, we trip him anyway. Turns out that he had found a pod. And uh, now they're in the action. So they're just going to overwatch through the windows. He's got a shot, but it's terrible. Let's think about maybe blowing away some of their cover here. But doesn't have the right the right percentage doesn't have the wouldn't get much out of that grenade so we'll overwatch Affirmative. covering now also overwatching and while we're at it no good no good percentage there We'll just have Brian get in on the Overwatch as well. I need some help. Nope, too far away, Brian. Don't even bother. And he's gonna oblige us and let us take some shots at him. Bang! Five in the back. I'm on the fire. Brian Harris finishes the job. Look at that. Just. Oh, that's ugly looking. Oh, and he just tags Braddon all the way through that window. Um, you know, they say half cover is no cover is an XCOM motto, and that certainly lived up to it there. Anna Turner. 
putting some bullets into that stun lancer who whiffs on Steven Schaffner. Which is very a welcome a very welcome whiff. So I've got a dangerous dude up front here with plenty of ways to take him out. Get ready for and a what I really want to do is get to his uh, his buddy back there. Take him out so that I can just focus on this guy. And I again, again five turns left, need to keep pushing forward. I need to move toward this objective because I do not have a specialist on this mission. Uh, so I can't hack it remotely. I'm going to have to get right next to the objective in order to hack it. Harris moving up. Gonna get this guy injured and exposed. Just ruin whatever. Look at all that. God's getting ready to do some mudding in there, and he's gonna have to replace this whole wall. Just ruined his whole project. Hand set his house on fire. I'm doing a lot of decision making here, trying to figure out whether I want to go ahead and take out the stun lancer first, whether I want to go ahead and take out the trooper first. Do I want to make sure that trooper is dead before I focus on the stun lancer, or go the opposite way? I'm not sure which way is going to be best. Um, that's a great spot right there for Brad McCampbell to get a flank shot on the on either of them, honestly. But Moving. if it doesn't pan out, then he's in a terrible position versus that that stun lancer. And what I don't want to do is spend my whole turn taking these two guys out and still be just as far back as I was the turn before, getting no closer to the objective. Rolling. Yeah, they're checking our options. And again, I don't like hanging out near propane tanks, but I needed to improve my percentages on the trooper over there. 87%. Can she finish the job? No. And uh, he let me down. And that made everything Moving a lot on more target wrong. Position now. I need to move to higher percentage stuff to make sure this this gets over. So Braden is going to move up. And to make the stun lancer and the trooper. I figure moving up on the trooper is going to be a better move with down. Steven and uh, Brian. So, Braden takes care of business right there. Picks up his first kill, earns his promotion. Continues the legacy of Great Axe. Copy that. We've got eyes on the objective. Commander, we have confirmation of the exposed access point. Schaffner moving up. 7% chance with the shotgun. Now Steven's still a little shaken from his previous mission where he got hit with a hit with a grenade. And uh, he needs to make it through this mission to shake that off. So his percentages are a little low. Moving to position. He's just, not, he's just not himself right now. So do I Figuring out where to move Brian, I want to move him up, but I don't want to move him so far that I risk activating another pod that is very like that scared me right there. Um, very likely to have another pod inside the building guarding the actual objective. And so I wanted to have a full turn available when I move up on the building to make sure that... Uh, Make sure that anything that pops out has people to shoot it. So Brian is going to just 
hang out in their very shallow swimming pool. Man, I would not want to dive on the in the off that diving board. Look at that pool. That thing is a that's like ankle deep where he's standing. You're move, just gonna move, dive move. at first right in into concrete. Your pool sucks. Alright. Moving on target location. Now I'm risking activating a pod right now, but he would have good cover. Oh yeah. And he doesn't. So good news. On the move. Steven can see in there, he doesn't see anything, so Reloaded. Brian is safe to move up and secure that window and be a lot closer Your to copy. the objective if he just sort of versus hanging out where he is. Menace 1 5. The advent network is almost So none such is going to go secure We're the playground, get himself just get that, that tiny terminal. little bit of elevation in case anything comes up that he can shoot. Top off. Brandon Campbell, and he got really jacked Confirmed. up by that, that gunfire. He's gonna reload as well. And there's where Brian comes Roger over. That. Gets ready to move into the building. Somebody's gonna come along and find that dead sectoid in this dude's swimming pool. If it wasn't for all the, like, the explosive location. damage and the obvious shotgun wounds, someone would just be like, See, I told you, you should have made that pool deeper. Look, this thing, this thing went diving and killed itself. Alright. Go. Moving up. Nothing there. Um, what I really don't want to do is go around this corner right now, because I am afraid there is a... Uh, there's a pot of guys up there, and I don't want them to run around and just murder Steven and Brian here. Reloaded. Overwatch. So they're just gonna hang out there. I've got three turns le left, so two more after this one to actually get it hacked. So next turn they should be able to d dash in there and hack it as long as I don't get them dead by aliens right now. Front of the house. Scanning. Ready to run. Time to top off. Brian. He decides to reload and just do some pistol overwatch. Hit it there now. Don't want to move too far over that way. That fog of war over there is just a little. I thought about going way up to the roof. Um, I actually worry about that. that. That is a nice little spot right there. It's elevated. Uh, it's got full cover from that fog of war over there on the. Um, it's just sort of the north. So Anna found herself a nice little perch. We're in. Yep, I've got two We've fully topped off shotguns ready to come around the corner files. here. Eliminate any so if there's a pot in that the room, area. they are they're gonna get some buckshot in them. Buckshot or a sword, one of the two. And nobody! Nope, the aliens target. haven't got here yet. Got some here ahead here. of them, so Stephen Schaffner, Hacker Supreme, is getting into this guy's system with his tech score of 5. 3% chance for a lead on an alien facility or a 2% chance for reduced scanning times. Let's uh, let's roll the dice on those scanning times. No. 
nope, you're not getting that. We just get the data. Steven's, uh, Steven's hacking skills are Heading on par out. with mine. Getting. Now we're just gonna wipe out any aliens that are threatening this neighborhood. Get some revenge for our, uh, our buddy the hacker who secured this data in the first place. Many boffins died to bring us this information. And there they are! There were the guys, look, they were just getting there. Just coming in to come get the data there at the back door. Trooper and a sectoid. doesn't actually have a bad position there. Um, he's slightly flankable, but mostly I just wanted to get him closer so that he was definitely in line to get some sort of an overwatch shot if something happens here. If these guys come around the side of the building. Now I've got this awesome opportunity uh, for Brian or Steven to just come jumping out of that window and sort the crap out of that, uh, that sectoid which would be seriously awesome, but also leave them very vulnerable to that trooper who's hiding out in the back room. And I don't want them to have to take bullets in return for an awesome kill. Well, Steven's already done for this turn. He moved and hacked. So it's, it's just Brian. Uh, it would still be really cool to vault out of that two-story window and land with a sword on that sectoid's head. Instead, I figure he's probably going to come around this way. He's going to move around on the guys that he can see. He has no idea I'm up there. And I've got a nice shot out that window. It's a good position to set up a shotgun ambush on him. Moving to Overwatch. for a second about seeing if I could hit him with grenade, blow his cover away, finish him off with Anna, but that wasn't good. <laughs> Citizens of Los Angeles, do not be afraid. We are here to help. Yeah, well, screw you too. Take the 55% chance, or Overwatch and hope he runs out into sniper fire. Overwatch, that's the decision. And here it comes. Peggy mana. No! Nimble sectoid. Here comes the shotgun. Brian, on the other hand. not be happier that he chose to animate a zombie here. That is basically a wasted turn for him. So all I have to do is finish off that sectoid and I don't even have to worry about that guy. Oh, and there's the trooper moving through the building which Brian takes a shot at. Alright, here we go. The question is how do I want to kill this sector? to run over there and sword him to death? Who do I want to run over there and sword him to death with? Is it Brian Jackie or Steven Schroffner? Hey, 
Yeah, it's Steven no. Schaffner. It's time it's time for Steven to get to do something cool. Bam! Out the second story window. Across the patio and right down the middle. Although he This frustrates me. I, he didn't go where I told him there to go. go. <laughs> I uh There we are. Nice loot. Status confirmed. Still waiting for All more weapon mod loot. I haven't got a lot secure. of them. Goodbye, Sai Zombie. Your time was short. So now, uh, maybe I clicked on the wrong spot, I don't remember, but, uh, Steven's really hanging out there for that trooper, so I need to take this trooper out. I do not need any kind of low percentage chance here. I can sort him, 88%. Again, I'm, I'm not in the mood for anything low percentage right now. The last thing I want is for this guy to end up with one hit point and to, to screw up Steven. So, let's borrow this little hole in the floor and introduce him to some buckshot. <laughs> Take out the... Just completely wrecked him. And that's the last of them. We got it. We secured the data. Um, Braddon took Braddon took some bullets, which sucks. He'll be injured for a while, but he got his promotion. Uh, solid mission. Very happy with it. Most damage, Brian Jackie. Most attacks, Brian Jackie. Move furthest, Brian Jackie. Steven Schaffner, most good. Highest average damage per attack. Nice. I have some cover bonus. Okay. Executed to the highest standard. Excellent work, Commander. Yeah, Anna's happy. I'm I'm with you there, Anna. I like I like I like how you're feeling about this. Steven's very happy with himself. It's like none such is ready to just take a little nap. Lay his head over. There we go, guys. Uh, heading back to base, and that's uh, that's pretty much going to be the end of this one. Oh no, uh, promotions! There are promotions here, so let's see what everybody gets. Walking up. Uh, Braden's got a bit of a limp, but uh, he's hanging in there. No, he's not going to collapse. No, sir. What does he get promoted to? Braden McCampbell, specialist. Another impressive effort, Commander. I know, I know Braden would have preferred to have had a sword. And I'm sorry you didn't randomly get, get a sword generated to you. You just got to settle for having an awesome robot that you control. So, Brian Jackie is going to be either a fan.